Well, hi guys, and welcome to an episode of Riding on the Strom. Just when you thought I wasn't going to do another video on the Thomas Fire. Oh no, not another one. We are in Rose Valley on top of 33. And for a while, this uh, road was cut off for some reason. And I was really eager to sneak down and see what the problem was, but now it's open. And now I can go down there and be legit. Instead of the scoff, scoff law, I usually am. Rose Valley Recreation Area. Let's hit it. But yeah, Thomas Fire hit this area as, as well, as you can see. And what's Rose Valley Recreation Area? I mean, I did did a kind of a joke thing. If you're familiar with my channel, I'm very sarcastic and make a lot of stupid jokes that nobody understands and takes literally. Um, but when I did a review on this helmet, the Bell 9 Adventure MX-9, I said that there was a military base down here at the end of it and I made a joke about it. There is no military base. This is a recreational area and there are several campsites down here. It has degraded over the years though and now with all the fire damage I'm sure it's not that great. So I want to see how far the fire damage got deep into here whether it was close to 33 or or um, all the way back into this valley. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what we got going here. And as I said, there are some camping sites down here. They're actually pretty nice. Um, one of them, which is pretty recessed into the mountain, has the gnarliest road I've ever seen. Um, it was sketchy for me going down on a bike. I can't imagine a car going down there. And very rarely, every time I've been back here, do I ever see anybody camping back there. You know, maybe a nice 4x4, but wow. It's almost like they should just rip up the pavement and make it a gravel road and, and not, you know, it would be actually better. We've got some cattle and a river crossing. Check this out, guys. Yes, an actual river crossing. Um, I know people are going to write comments and say I should have stood up when I went through that water, but I'm too lazy to do so. Well, I think it's uh, pretty evident that the fire hit back here. So, yeah, obviously this was really beautiful before the fire, and, and now it's uh, pretty black. Yeah, so in these campsites, I think there's one with like a little waterfall on it. If there's some water running, it's very popular. There's another one that's pretty gnarly that, that I was talking about with where the road's kind of fucked up. And, uh, and then there's a couple of others. Um, but I think Ray's Peak is a little bit higher in elevation than this. It was, probably doesn't get as cold as up here in the night time. Yeah, I'm a little bit taken back by all the fire damage. It might have even been a hot spot. It's funny, you probably, you could never see any of these campsites from the road. But uh, now, probably you can. So let's see if I'll, I'll slow down a little bit down here so we can get a better pan of it and see. Wow, yeah, so you can almost see all the way back into that campsite. There's the river. Wow, that is gruesome. 
You know what, let's check out the Rose Valley Campground just to see, you know, I mean, it's not that interesting, but with the fire damage, let's check it out. So this used to be really heavily wooded um, where you couldn't see anything and now you can see everything. It, uh, it's quite a drastic change. Wow. See, I mean, I can see that from here. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. So this is quite the... Quite the trail. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I wish I had videotaped this before. Um, that way you'd have a before and after. What's nice is this uh, lake has a lot of water in it. And I'm expecting that the, the turnout this season isn't going to be very big because you can see, wow, I mean, the devastation back there is certainly not as. And I'm going to say my, pic, uh, my favorite word picturesque. It's not as picturesque as it used to be. And here's the place that I thought I joked it was a government facility where they they tested secret weapons, but it's just the Oh High Valley Gun Club. And for a Saturday, it looks very uh, look very uh, busy, which is odd. And what this uh, just ends out on is a very nice area where people can go on hikes. There's actually, uh, what's really nice is they actually have a little pen where you can keep your horses. So you can bring your horses back here and then do trail riding on your horses. That's what's really nice about it. Most people don't know that because they never follow the road all the way to the end. Wow, 
of damage. Older. So I should be a little bit more cautious around here. So you can see the valley down there. There's that road I was talking about. Oh, they repaved it. You can see the... They actually tried to fix it, I think. So, well, that's nice. Ah, no wonder. No wonder. Look at this. Landslide City. No wonder what they had closed this off. Erosion. Erosion is not my friend. In the 21st century, let's see if we can... Get out of here a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they repaid that road. I'm so happy they did that because it's nice. That's a nice little camping spot back there. Um, but the uh, unfortunate thing was you couldn't get to it unless you had an adventure bike. So I think that obviously the reason why this road was kind of semi-blocked for the public was the erosion, not so much hot spots or fire, even though there was a considerable amount of fire damage back here. Doesn't look like a lot of fire damage back here, which is good, so. As we flow into Rose Valley. Quite a just just position from the burnt wasteland to the to the typical California countryside. Well, see, this is what I mean by. It's not early because they just you know, nobody out here. No. You don't want to hit these potholes in your car at any kind of speed. I really love to go up in there. Um, I wonder how far that is on foot, or even if you can get across the little river down there. So here we are at the trailhead, and uh, trailer parking. I've taken you down here before. So here's the parking lot. I've been down here before on video, I think. I haven't done it unedited. So, okay guys, that's your video on uh, Rose Valley. Just a quick, quick, how do you do? Just when you thought I was gonna shut up about the fire damage, look at that. 
Wow. That is bad back there. You know, signs that say stop no entry just want me to just want me makes me want to go in there more. <laughs> Trees? No trees. Wow, oh, this is nice. No, I haven't got up there yet, mainly because I can't figure out. Ooh. Something move? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, wow. that looks a little bit sketchy. People driving by. I know what he's doing when he's trying to get around the fence. Stop him. And now I'm going to get off my bike and access the situation here. Mm hmm. Oh, I think I can get around this. This is such a slope. How does this thing open? Oh, interesting. Wow. That's very cool. Well, I'm just going to walk. I'm going to go on a 40-mile hike. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and ride safe. I can open my visor now. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my. I'm too tired.